What's up everybody? Today is April 5th, 2020. Uh, today, can't ask for better weather. It's like in the high 50s or so uh, in southern New Jersey. Um, I really wanted to get out fishing uh, during the day, but unfortunately I had a ton of stuff I had to get done around the house that I've been putting off for the last month. So uh, we're going to take a night trip targeting striped bass uh, a little later today. Um, I'm going to be fishing a few different techniques that I haven't shown on the channel yet. Um, they're effective ways to catch striped bass. So let's start with <clears throat> first rod has a fluke rig. It's just a jig head with a Gamagatsu 3.0 hook. I'll be showing you guys uh, if, you, if you're worried about how to tie these rigs I'm going to be showing you them a little bit later. Next one uh, on this rod I have a uh, drop shot rig. Um, all you bass guys know what I'm talking about. I'll show you that. And on the ultra light you know four pound test with the 1 16th ounce jig so we're gonna put some work in tonight so stay tuned now one last thing uh exciting news we hit 600 subscribers last night thank you so much um <clears throat> i am trying my best to provide the best content possible um i do have a lot of videos planned in the future so if you're not a subscriber, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to the page. Um, when we do hit a thousand subscribers, I plan on doing my first giveaway. Um, it's going to be something sweet, so stay tuned. I promise uh, you won't regret it. All right, so we are going to tie the first rig of the day, uh, which I would call a fluke rig or bucktail rig. Um, heard some people call it tap dancer rig. I don't think there's a perfect name for it, but <clears throat> the three things you need jig head line and hooks all right i got gamagatsu size 30 octopus hooks uh, one vmc half ounce jig moon eye jig and 20 pound monofilament <clears throat> so all i'm going to be doing i'm going to take the jig feed the line through Tie the jig on first. Now there's no perfect knot. Um, you know, everybody has their own knots. I'm not going to sit here and <clears throat> try and reinvent knots to you. I'm sure if you're curious about how to tie knots, you probably already YouTubed it or Googled it. But once we get that on there, always wet the line. That way it fastens. All right, now once we have it to that, <clears throat> I'm going to take pliers and just clip that tag in that way it looks clean we're going to take it up about two feet and clip clip it off all right once i have it there what i'm going to do is make my uh <clears throat> the top of my rig where i tie my line to um some people tie straight to their line with this type of rig i do like making a little bit of a loop to tie off to i don't like a swivel because i do believe it does affect um the action in the water the swivel weighs down the line so it doesn't look as natural all right so we got the jig head tied on we have the loop for where we're tying the line to now the next step would be to add the trailer hook now the big key with this uh you don't want too much line where you're tying it meaning if i put too much line <clears throat> uh, where the teaser is it ends up getting tangled in the rig and then it gets uh, all messed up and the presentation doesn't look good so let's just tie that off perfect all right so now let me just <clears throat> trim that little tag so now what we have is our jig two feet up we have a trailer hook now what i'm going to be doing is fishing two soft plastics um what it will enable me to do is to bounce the bottom and fish you know two different uh, depths one on the bottom one about two feet up um i'm probably going to be using berkeley gulp and a combination of some uh soft plastics i have but i'll show you those once we get out on the boat all right so the last thing i'm going to rig up uh, is my ultralight. I mean this thing. I'm just going to show you really quick I don't know if you could read that, but it's 
you know, two to six pound, t you know, rod. I mean, it's a four foot rod. So this thing's built for trout. Um, <clears throat> I am going to rig up a little jig head with that. Probably a one sixteenth ounce uh, moon jig and see if we can't get a nice fish on that. All right, so the last thing before we get going, um, baits, I'm going to be varying what I'm using. So I do have <clears throat> a bag of Kettle Creek uh, swing shads, anywhere from three to five inches. Uh, I do have Bass Pro Shop speed shads, very similar make. Um, and I have Catch Co's uh, shimmer shad. This is the bait I'll be trying on the... Um, drop shot rig i also will be trying the drop shot with berkeley gulp i got plenty of colors plenty of sizes um when this video is over you'll see everything that i use in uh the info i do post everything uh remember i'm not a sponsored fisherman um i do these for fun so everything i'm putting in there is stuff that i buy out of my own pocket that i know works um i'm not here to try and sell you on some type of rig or rod um all right it's about seven o'clock uh sunsets i believe 7 22 tonight um so by the time i get the boat in the water get to the first spot sun should be setting um i have about 35 40 minutes of the top of the incoming and then i'll have the beginning of the outgoing to fish so stay tuned and uh i'll see you out on the water I uh, just launched the boat. Um, tonight is uh, not going to be a night by myself. I've already seen a ton of boats already out here, so uh, that's not a big deal, honestly. Um, we'll just find a what, uh, spot tucked away from everybody else, so stay tuned. All right, so a few things. First, the surface temp right now in Marine is about 52 degrees. That is uh, nearly at the top of the tide where I'm at. Um, it's been holding in the 50s pretty well out here. I am fishing salt water. I've been marking, you know, 50, 56 and higher up the river, but that's expected because it's a smaller body of water and heats up a lot easier. But a uh, little bit of wind tonight. It's, I think, only about uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Um, so it's, it's a little chilly out, but... I believe the fish should be biting tonight uh, once that uh, tide turns, so we'll see. Man, I'm not a big sunset guy, but I got a beautiful night to be out on the water. All right, just got, oh, first fish on, let's go. First, oh, look at that. Double header, baby. Double freaking header. That's how you start a freaking day. I'll tell you what, man. I didn't even get a chance to explain this fluke rig, but I'll do it later. One. And a two. Let's go. That's, I'll tell you what, man. I could head home now. Jesus, I had to literally pitch that out and was about to, you know, do the intro and all that stuff. And I literally didn't even get to, to even close my bail before I just had those first two fish. Now what I'm doing, I'm just pitching it out and just slow working it. Now I, I explained earlier, this is my, I don't know if I said it in the uh, intro, but that rig that I'm fishing right now is my favorite flounder rig. Uh, when flounder season does open up, I plan on doing a ton of flounder videos, but I mean, I absolutely smashed them on this rig. Might have to get back in the honey hole. As soon as I got to that first spot and stopped, I mean, how do, you, how do you beat that? Now, while I'm repositioning, uh, what I was gonna say about this rig is I'm bouncing the bottom and this one up here, I won't be surprised if it outfishes the bottom hook just because uh, it is suspended a little bit and I'm noticing that the fish are about a foot off the bottom. That's exactly where my teaser is set. So hopefully uh, we're gonna try and keep counting how many fish were on the top and how many were on the bottom. At some point, I am going to switch over to the uh, uh, drop shot rig, but I just want to make sure uh, I get to fish both rigs equally. Marking fish right off the bottom. Don't know if you can see that. that those don't look too big, but 
a good sign. It, the wind is picking up a little bit. Um, in my little boat, it could be an interesting experience, I guess, if you will, when it gets windy. But, oh, there we go. There we go. Ah, look at that. Just like I said, top hook. All right, and that guy was hooked perfectly. I'll tell you what, I haven't had a trip on my boat, <clears throat> let's let this guy go, where I haven't cut my hand open, man. I don't know what it is. I think I have bad luck. Now what I'm doing, I'm actually setting my boat up on an edge of a slough and letting the wind and tide push me over it. Uh, right now it says I'm drifting about 0.7 of a knot. That, that's honestly like the perfect speed for jigging. Um, when we do our flounder series, you'll you'll see me talking more about like speed of uh, of the drift because that does have a huge effect on uh, fishing. But right now we're getting a perfect speed drift to present these uh, gulp to these hungry stripers. So, had to put the headlight on. It is getting dark out. Uh, so hopefully that means that should turn the bite on. We'll find out. Fish on, let's go. Whoa, what do we got? All right. It was getting quiet for a minute. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, let me get the light real quick. Honestly, I think the tide had to switch for the fishing to get a little bit better. So hopefully it picks up. I'm gonna be honest, uh, it was pretty slow for about 20 minutes. We just had that fish. I am starting to uh, see fish jumping actually. I don't know if it's bass just chasing bait or if it's just bait to be honest with you because <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure. I'm marking a lot of bait on the bottom and I, I can tell it's bait because it's just balled up like crazy. Uh, there have been some decent marks, just couldn't get anything to bite for, you know, 20 or so minutes. But at least that last fish just kind of broke that little bit of a lull. So maybe with the tide moving, I might turn the fishing back on. All right, so just switched over to the ultralight rod. Uh, last chance. It's going to try one more spot which I'm at right now hopefully uh, find a few more fish I mean <clears throat> we didn't get skunked today but four fish is not by any means a good day fish on let's go let's freaking go on the ultralight baby Let's go. That just made my night. Anything on an ultralight to me is a good time, man. Look at that. I mean, this rod's only four foot. Nice. All right, let's let this guy go. You've been nice little catch. fish on let's go right off right, let's go right off the surface this one feels a little bit bigger got a little bit more fight in them I don't think it's a keeper but definitely the biggest fish I had all night
did bring the net just in case. Oh yeah, that's a nicer fish. Let me try and get it a little bit closer. You know what? We're going to net this guy. Oh, man. It is tough to net with it. this ultralight. I don't want to... There we go. That's not a bad sized fish. Oh man. Especially on an ultralight. Oh, let me get the light down here. He swallowed that. It's not a bad one. We're going to measure him. But even if he's a keeper, I ain't going to keep him. We are at 26 inches. So this guy would have been just too short to keep. All right, we're going to let this guy go. Let him grow up to be big. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Um, unfortunately, I'm out all out of time. Um, be honest with you it was a very tough night of fishing but um we didn't get skunked but we'll be back at them tomorrow um as always if you like today's video please subscribe down below or uh, leave a comment and uh have a great day